Reports out of Los Angeles say serial drug offender Lindsay Lohan has left... This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. The broadcasters of your area in voluntary cooperation with the federal, state and local authorities have developed this system to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, tornadoes, tsunamis, ETC, the attention signal you just heard would have been followed by official information, news or instructions. This station, FMAM 0-1050 TV and satellite, serves the USA area. This concludes this test of the emergency broadcast system. Joining me now for more from Los Angeles is 10's Emma Dallymore. Emma, what would be uh, Lilo's first port of call when she gets out of Betty Ford? Well, we are still hearing conflicting reports here, Ron. If indeed she has left, she's managed to dodge the paparazzi who've been staking out the Betty Ford Centre for days now. Now, some sources are saying she has indeed left after her court-ordered treatment. Others are saying she's due to leave tomorrow. But what has been seen is a removal truck outside her West Hollywood apartment, leading to speculation that she's looking to put some of those memories of being a bit of a bad party girl behind her and perhaps move to a quieter life by the beach. Now, of course, all of this stems back to that 2007 drink driving conviction and the 24 year old's repeated failures to meet the terms of her probation. There is still more to go in the saga. Ron, she's under investigation into whether or not Lohan uh, assaulted a staff member at Betty Ford and she has her next appointment with a judge next month. <laughs> Emma, a number of other uh, interesting stories out of the US this morning. California's governator has officially been replaced. <laughs> Well, yes, the position has gone from governator just back to plain old governor after 72-year-old Jerry Brown was sworn into office this morning. Now, Brown was last governor 28 years ago here, and he's returned this time, of course, to replace Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was seen applauding in the crowd with his wife, Maria. Now, his time in office expired after seven years on the job as a Hollywood politician. And while he continued to be pretty optimistic about California's crippling debt, Jerry Brown's been a little more realistic. He's facing a $28 billion deficit, and his first tough job will be to release what's expected to be a very painful budget indeed. Now, there's nothing more salacious than some sneaky military videos, and the US Navy has launched an internal investigation after the leak of offensive videos taken on board USS Enterprise. What's that story all about? Well, these videos were supposed to be for entertainment and they were broadcast on the ship's internal television system a couple of years ago. Now, apparently then a number of uh, crew members uh, complained about the graphic content of that those videos and now that they've been leaked, the man behind it, the captain who filmed them, is feeling increasing pressure. This evening, all of you bleeding hearts and you bag swole boy, why don't you just go ahead and hug yourselves for the next 20 minutes or so, because there's a really good chance you're going to be offended tonight. A warning they never thought the public would have to hear. Chicks in the shower. This is certainly the most popular video of any of the EXO movie videos. It's also the one that's landed me with the most complaints. Shower scenes, anti-gay slurs, drag shows and simulated sex acts were all featured on internal videos shown as part of movie nights in 2006 and 7 to entertain troops who were deployed in the Middle East. They were shot by Captain Owen Honours, who was second in charge at the time. And while some seem innocent enough, the captain seemed well aware the rest were crossing a line. As usual, the Admiral and the Captain have no idea about the contents of the video or movie this evening, and they should not be held accountable. Now that they do know, an internal investigation is underway, with the Navy condemning the videos as inappropriate. It's unclear why or how the tapes surface now, and equally unclear what the future holds for Owen Honours, a Top Gun pilot who's since been promoted to commander of the Enterprise and now finds himself sinking fast. In the United States, Emma Dallymore, 10 News.
And let's go back to Emma live now. Finally, uh, bizarre weather continues in the United States. It's snowing now on the West Coast. Yes, after all that rain in Southern California, parts of it are now blanketed in snow. As you'd expect, it has caused absolute traffic mayhem on the freeways with many of them shut down and particularly for people heading out to Las Vegas where part of the famous strip has also been dusted in snow. And none of it, of course, was early enough for a white Christmas just enough for a New Year surprise. And Ron, it is a little cool. While there's no snow here in LA, I've certainly got the woolly coat downstairs. Oh yeah, ruck up. Good on you, Emma. Emma Dallymore in Los Angeles. <laughs>